Okay guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to reboot your main Ultis 1 bot without disconnecting the power. Uh, I'm just showing this for people that are new to the Ultis 1 service. Um, if they don't know what to do, if their bot is um, unresponsive or the remote becomes unresponsive, uh, I'm just gonna show you how to do it with the TV and the internet. So, for the TV, to reboot the uh, TV, the video, uh, what you wanna do, you wanna press the whole the power button on the front of the box for 10 seconds. Until it says video restarting. Now just give it like at least 5 to 10 seconds, a little bit more, until it goes ahead and like uh, reboots itself. There it goes. Make sure it went black. It says welcome. So that's how you reboot the uh, TV side. Um, if you're if you're cable or if you're having a black screen or you're not getting no audio and having video or you're not getting either or you just or if your service is just not working, that's the way to reboot the TV. So let's just let it finish rebooting. Now I'm not gonna edit this as I'm not gonna. I just want to keep it raw, you know. Better to keep it raw. So you got the clock. Kind of hard to see with the uh, camera. So just give it, and even when you press the hold the power button on the box, it will turn itself on. Um, if not, then you would have to push it. It's just it'll do it on its own. Just give it a second. It's just gonna take a second because um, it's still out uh, there. It goes. There it goes. Oh, it's one. There goes that sound, which I like. <laughs> okay. Now, for some of the people that are also having this issue, if your rewind like TV or pause like TV is not working after the rebootment. You want to go to the back of the box and then you want to look for the memory card and then push that in. Push it out and then push it in. And then your rewind light TV slash pulse light TV will start working. Now to reboot the internet, you want to go ahead and press and hold this button right here for 10 seconds. Right, so it's rebooting the gateway. Instead of reboot the internet, instead of obviously it's the whole gateway, it'll reboot the internet and the phone and the Wi-Fi. Yeah, this all it has it all built in. Now, if you're wondering what the mini box, the mini box um, does it use this button to reboot? It uses the power button to reboot. But the mini box is um, you can just unplug them from power. They don't really use the internet. So it'll take a couple of minutes for it to show something on the display. So, um, yeah. All right, so that's how you reboot your TV and internet uh, without unplugging the power on your main Ulti One box. Um, if you have any comments, as you can see um, on my TV. And don't mind that it's pixelating. Sometimes um, it does that when it reboots the internet because Sometimes the cable requires internet for it to work. So if you're wondering why that's happening, sometimes the internet can mess it up somehow. Uh, if you're getting random pixelation, it's not just like the TV. I can see you're already doing the stuff. I'm just gonna let you guys watch this. Sorry for the long video, I know it's long. But I didn't want to take no edits and I want to show people now this is for people that are new with the OT1 service, you know, if they're having issues, like I said. Um, I'm going to recap, press and hold the power button for the TV for 10 seconds until it says video restarting. And then press and hold this button, um, up here right over the WPS button. Press and hold that for 10 seconds for cable modem restarting, or registration, as you can see. Cable modem registration, that's what it says. 
um, it's just rebooting the internet, getting the internet information uh, from the cable company, as you know. Let me just turn down my TV or my stereo. Now it'll reboot the router. It, it goes by order. Um, even when you unplug the uh, power, it starts with the. It usually it starts with the internet first, and then it goes to the TV. But it kind of boosts both of them at the same time. Um, but most of the time it'll it will start with the TV first and then do the modem and router. So it it just takes its time to reboot and get working. All right, so there you go. That's how you reboot it. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for the long video. Um, hope this helped. All right, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video to your friend if they want to know more about the LT1. I'll be happy to help you out. All right, peace.